Hey guys, Tyrup here bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing for today's morning in the north, we've got Foggy playing as Nine Elf. Are under attack. Going for a Demon Hunter. Doing some uh, Lightning Shield creeping here. Okay, Selfie and some of the south playing as human. We've got TH. And he is going for Archmage. Map is Amazonia, and this match is from the WGL qualifiers. It's like basically the biggest tournament series in Warcraft 3 every year. Well, maybe this year ESL will be bigger, I'm not exactly sure what the differences are in price pool. Either way, from the qualifiers for that. And yeah, should be a good match. These are two of the uh, best players in the world. And uh, you know, get to see some inter-regional action here, Europe versus China. I don't think I've cast TH for quite a while as well, so Players I'm looking forward to that. He's oftentimes got some unusual builds cooking. There's a Demon Hunter coming down. A little bit more creeping. Didn't end up finishing this entire camp siege. here though. Archmage coming across looking to get a little bit aggressive here. And uh, Footman in the base harassing the Wisps a little bit. Looks like a couple of archers coming back to assist in the defences. And attack. while that's going on, TH sneaks off to do a little bit of creeping of his own. And here comes Demon Hunter. Going to look to get a few of these mana burns cooking. Oh, might be able to snipe the water elemental. I think he did. It's a little bit of extra experience there. Two cloaks of shadows there for the Archmage, not ideal. Can't go super invisible. But the cloak of shadows is pretty good these days. Now that you can cloak during the daytime as well. Cash is out of those though and buys some boots. Gonna try outrun the demon hunter who also has boots. Avoid taking uh, so many martyr burns, but as I say, that takes another one right when he could have summoned another water elemental. Meanwhile, back here, Foggy doing a little bit of creeping with the archers alone. This Nightcrawler does quite a lot of damage with all that poison being spread amongst all of the archers. It's going to drain his moon juice a little bit. Now looking to take down this camp right outside Foggy's base. TH getting aggressive with his creeping here. Knocking down these kobolds. Now Foggy peeling off to the side. Gonna creep out the shop. Tops of haste here. The TH. And sentry wards there for the demon hunter. Oh! Archer goes down. Got a couple wisps mobilized there, maybe in case he wanted to dispel these water elementals. And Footman with the fin, they're coming in. He, I think he was looking for a surround there briefly on the Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter highly mobile with those boots. Able to avoid that, but he doesn't have much juice left in these moon wells, thanks to the healing he had to do on those archers that were solo creeping earlier. So might not be able to defend this push, and that's quite a few footmen here. TH. Talking the defend on and off very rapidly. Oh, in comes a Naga Sea Witch from the tavern. And that is allowing a lot of damage onto the Archmage. Defense is there. Popping defend on one footman. The one that was going to die. Demon Hunter still chasing down the Archmage. Well, on base we've got the uh, oh, whoa, Blood Mage coming in. And on one Sanctum's got a Blacksmith as well. So we're going to see a little bit of Rifle Cast action. Sentry Ward going down in base there for the Demon Hunter. The Archmage coming back in, still low in health. Looking for the steal on the Cobalt. I don't think he got it. Oh, maybe he did, because he's got quite a lot of experience on the Blood Mage, actually. 
Yeah, it looks like the Sea Watch has only got one footman worth of experience. So yeah, did actually end up getting the Cobalt. Nice touch. Now a coming up here, maybe scouting an expansion, but nothing happening yet from Foggy. No expansion attempt. Oh, that's kind of funny. Transferring a bit of mana over to the priest there after that mana burn. So we can get a bit of healing going. Might as well make use of that. Now getting an extra water elemental from siphoning across that mana. Oh, draining the demon hunter. Oh, he's gone for an ancient protector back here actually. Interesting. To help defend against uh, this aggression. Love Mage taking a lot of damage here. Low after that. He's got one priest in the back trying to avoid retreating. Focusing down the rifleman though. Doesn't have much range left. Slow on the demon hunter though and he can't escape. There's the blood mage is uh, safe. Oh, he transferred actually the boots over to the blood mage to make him a little bit more mobile. Interesting. A player's forces are under Even attack. the boots on the demon hunter though. Sometimes we do see him transfer over to the sea witch. Allow her to chase down you very effectively with that cold arrow, but not so far. You know, on the demon hunter, I think he inched the ancient protector a little bit further forwards. Maybe so it could provide some better protection to this moonwell here. And there we go, bear with rejuvenate. Demon hunter coming back in. And pops the roar as well. No mana for that demon hunter. goes down the rest of the footman a little bit in the back and interesting he's actually put the orb of venom on the sea witch for the moment oh he does have master bears now just completed the tech so now he can fight back very effectively and he did pick off you know a couple units from TH, but TH still with about a 10 food lead at this stage. But you know, this is some pretty high tech units combining with that orb as well. So, players forces are should be able to fact. trade pretty effectively. Looks like TH staying at keep here. Just doing a bit of scouting. And yeah, no one wisp dies. Coming back to the base. Oh. Is there a scout footman over here? It's gonna be spotted by the demon hunter. A player's forces are under attack. And the scout was spotting the TH going for a bit of creeping. Onto Foggy's expansion position. And back the other way. You see the mercenary camp crept out. It's like just a solo creep though for the Naga Sea Witch. If she can get level 3, get that level 2 fork lightning that can really help against the rifle casters, the extra bit of burst damage. Oh, we came across here. Like... I thought for a second he's just gonna kill his archers, is he? A player's force. Oh, he's at 50 attack. food. But the creeping a little bit faster for TH and now looking to take down a Moonwell from the base and he's going he's having to run back with his army he's taking quite some time as well does have two drives in the AP back there a little bit Ooh, but didn't have abolished magic so uh, these war elementals are still a bit of a pain there was two moon wells that went down there I believe starting uh, to produce those once again but that's good for TH and now he's just pulling back. Foggy well, pretty much at 50 food anyway, so doesn't impact him too much. Doesn't have to reproduce any units. Could just maybe invest in a few more items for the gold difference in the meantime. But TH is kind of like he's got a sixth sense where Foggy is moving. Comes back up here and interrupts him creeping. A 
Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter with the Zeppelin drop onto the Peasant line, and there's no towers back here to defend. He's got the all with Venom as well, can spread a lot of damage onto all of those Peasants. Look at them, they're all super low after this. Catch pulling them back. Venom spreading the damage around. But it looks like while this is going on, he's going to go for an attack into the base while the Demon Hunter's not here to assist. Demon Hunter pulls back. Maybe he could have killed a few of these peasants if he stuck around a little bit longer. Come back as quickly as possible. Is he buying a staff? Yes, he is. Staffing back and looks like the AAW might fall. TH did break up, keep close to 60 food now. So the economy pressure is on him to get something done right now. What happened to that priest that was back here? That was healing up all those units. A player's forces are under attack. Scout Zeppelin doing a bit of reconnaissance. Looks like he's got six on the gold, right? Maybe transferred one across now. Oh, is that still... yeah. Oh well. <laughs> oh, a couple units with the slow here getting caught. Gonna lose an archer. The bear retreats in the nick of time though. But the demon hunter dropped into the base once again. Picking off a few more peasants. Oh, but the bear is gonna get picked off as well perhaps. One drive back attack. here to assist with the defense, draining the moon wells, and he's got a town portal back. Demon Hunter very low here. Jumps into the Zeppelin, and there we go, town portal out. Demon Hunter jumps back out. I think we the heard one dryad go down. Oh, the archer survived. So, good interruption of TH's economy there. Pretty good trade there from Foggy. Especially while TH is, you know, draining from upkeep, losing all this gold mining time. This should allow Foggy to bounce back and really explode up. It's a little bit lacking in lumber, perhaps. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Spell. The water I'm into, but a free experience there. Around close to four. He's going to lose a moon well. And it looks like a good chunk of his army is in the Zeppelin. Going to go for the economy harass again. And has picked up a fresh town portal just then. A player's forces are under attack. So who's going to be able to do more damage to their opponent's base? We're going to see uh, three moon wells falling there. Meanwhile, three or four peasants dropping. And looks like he staffed out the Zeppelin. Boots of Speed transferred over to the Sea Witch to try and help it escape. Mass Banish. Can he get in range for a slow sorceress? Nearly there. There it is. Slow onto the Sea Witch. Might have been onto the Blood Mage. No more banishes. Going for a transfer of item, perhaps. Not Town Portal out to try and save the Sea Witch. Oh, that was expensive. But nice work there. Change keeping up with the Banish. Young the Sorceress to get in range. Just a tiny bit slow maybe with the transfer of the boots. It looks like Foggy just a does not want to engage in a head-to-head -head fight. I'll go for a bear drop into the base and you know, siege bears can be pretty effective at knocking down a keep. Pretty good normal damage combined with the raw. Town portal back. And this could be trouble. Zeppelin gets slowed, but for certain gonna lose these two archers. And well, it's going really far back in base now. Hedge protector almost died, but Foggy's gonna be able to get some repairs on that. So I think a three health there. Here's in the Zeppelin though, just waiting behind the trees. Could very easily come in and drop them again. And the gold just coming in so slowly for TH. Oh, 
Mine's a rifleman standing over by the lab. It's a free kill. Bear drop onto the peasant line again. And uh, Siege Bear is going after the keep. Fork Lightning taking down a couple more peasants. But the Zeppelin also getting knocked out. He's going to have to town portal. And look at this mass banish on the bears to stop them from doing any damage. Let's see which getting focused down. Peasants falling to the Fork Lightning. Town portal out. And ultimately... I don't think that went too well for Fog. He lost the Zeppelin. Not going to be able to go for those easy bear drops. And I don't think he took down that many peasants. There were like two that were very, very low. End up Players surviving. Forces are under attack. Just been the town portal on that as well. But yeah, nice reaction there from TH. The mash banish on the bears just cut the damage. Oh! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! <laughs> What do you have back here? Dryad bought the sappers now and the keep is gone. That was a really nice move from Foggy. Now oh, he's just got to play defensively. Build up his army. He should be able to overwhelm TH. Is he going to try and build an expansion though? Got a good chunk of gold. Might as well do it uh, at this gold mine, which has still a huge amount of gold left compared to the main, I suppose. Okay, there we go. Slow on to these heroes. Picks off the dry, level 5 for the Archmage. That's going to result in some water touring. Just getting out there. They do take quite a bit of damage on the exit and a fresh Zeppelin. Loaded up with beers. Going to look for maybe a reproducing town hall, but it's not going to be here. It's going to be at the expansion position. So I think it's going to go up. The beers and the Zeppelin are not going to get there in time. Okay, Pice the Invis potion on the Naga Sea Witch. Ooh, ooh. He knew about it. He went for some predictive dispels there with the priests. And now the reveal from the lab, hoping to catch the sea witch, but she is uh, standing up to the side at the moment. Back the other way, we've got an Invis Water Elemental making its way over to do some scouting on Foggy's units. But most of them are loaded up in the Zeppelin at the back at the moment. Are under attack. Gold mine about to run out for Foggy, but he can walk the tree across. And has already ticked nature's blessing, so we'll be able to do that at a reasonable pace. That speed upgrade. I can see which still in Invis. Demon Hunter over here. Yes, in the far corner. But TH not taking any chances. Just camping his expansion position, building up a few towers. Does not have a lumber mill though, so can't build any uh, beefier towers than this. And is somewhat limited in his tech, having lost his keep. So it's kind of important that he doesn't lose his sanctum here, otherwise he won't be able to make any more casters until he ticks up again. Now maybe even going for the blacksmith. Invis water elemental doing a scouting and we do have an Invis blood mage back there as well. Ready for the mana drain. Yep, siphon's a good chunk off. Manages to pick off one dryad. And, uh, yeah, getting rid of the mana from the cast, he's had enough of that slow. It's a good chunk of damage onto the Blood Mage. And spreading the poison onto the Archmage as well, but completely drained of mana. He's got a bit of uh, excess mana right now. Transfer that across. You see which coming in. 
What's, what does he hope to achieve with this, though? Pick off some units? I'm not sure. It banishes the water elemental so it doesn't die. Well, does not want to feed any experience to these night elf heroes. Okay, we're going to get some experience from that water elemental. Oh, the bear. The bear the plane getting scouted. And now slowed by the sorceress. Opening up a farm there so we can use that reveal a little bit more easily in the future. Are under attack. But yeah, Foggy does want to go for that drop. Do you have the shredder back there for some uh, defenses as well? This is the sorceress. Oh, back the other way. Archmage looking to do some harass and drop the entangling of the gold mine. We've got three ancient protectors back here. So Foggy also defending his base as well as he can. Which takes a little bit of damage, but nothing the priests can't knock off very easily. And still a 20 food advantage to TH. And uh, he's having trouble getting this entangled mine up. And what an elemental... A player's care forces of it. are under attack. In fact, that's only level two more I'm going to. He went for level three brilliance or which is somewhat unconventional. Oh, a bit of a, a town is trouble for the Zeppelin. Oh, he manages to stuff it out. He does have the stuff teleportation, so the demon hunter can get out pretty safely himself. No storm bolt to interrupt that in this game. And then damage and then banish. I'm just getting out of there. Looks like he's feeling bold. He's going to come across. This is a lot of towers to contend with, with no mortar teams. Casters. Oh, going to take a chunk of damage. Looks like he's trying to get that. Targeting his footman with the defend. Are under town is under siege. And back the other way. Demon to coming in, taking down the towers first. He's finally ticking up to keep. So tower's getting knocked out at both players' bases. Well, he needs to make sure, yep, he's targeting the right units, the casters, with the unarmored, taking a lot more damage from the piercing. And there we go, town portal back. Loads up into the zeppelin, stuff out on the zeppelin, and everything manages to get away. It's a sneaky strategy from Foggy. Oh, but here comes the mass banished chase down on the demon hunt. He does have the a boots at the moment, though. Boots on both of his heroes. So we can uh, outrun that slow. Tiny bit of creeping here for the blood mage. Getting close to four. Looks like Foggy going to rebuild some of those towers that he lost. But he is up and mining again. Take a look at upgrades here. One, one. This is two, zero. He goes for this this camp, but it's a tough camp. Those that granite golem uh, spits out a lot of damage. He only picks off the drive, but not quite. And she's fully stacked on mana. Can use those moon wells. Not too many uh, consequences. There's a bit of a standoff. Both players don't really want to leave their expansions exposed. And, but neither of them are letting either either of the other player get anything done here. A player's forces are under attack. Foggy trying to get the rock golem. And this creeping done. Can he finish off the granite golem in time? Here comes the human army. I have to temple out here. And when he does temple out, it won't be back to his moon wells. Picks up the item, Warsaw Battle Drums, a good item. Here we go, Town Portal's out, reveal. Foggy trying to make a quick escape. But has TH managed to set up a GG scenario here? 20 food ahead, Foggy unable to fight, he's got low health units. 
Huge army size disadvantage. He buys three sappers. A player's forces are under He's attack. bringing them across the map here. Town portal picked up here. A town He's is going under after the main. With this tree of eternity in a bit of trouble. We have to bring the wisps out shortly. I'll be going after the keep. In come the sappers. It's not going to be expecting this. One sapper in. Second sapper in. And the keep goes down just like that. I'm just going to take out the workshop here. Go back the other way. Foggy also going to lose his tree of eternity. Foggy does have about a thousand gold in the bank though. So can he produce a strong enough army or is this just going to be an old fashioned base race scenario? favored to win in that Town case. Under siege. I think the bears with the roar have to be favored over the human army in a base a full-on base race scenario. A player's forces are under attack. Especially if Foggy can afford a couple more sappers. Maybe reluctant to buy them right now. No, oh, here he goes, he's buying the sappers. This is probably the most sappers I've seen anybody buy in one individual match a town this is, is six now seven oh eight eight sappers okay and they come huge bombs there on the farms the base just getting obliterated here by these sappers and that's gonna allow foggy to get the win no town hall being built all the way over here sneaky stuff from th okay, just enough resources for that and even though this is an unusual position, I suppose he could do a little bit of long-range mining. Oh, now I can see which spots this. Could he take down the peasant? Oh, the fork lightning! A town is under siege. Town hall goes down. Or will it? I can see which everything focusing down the town hall. The drides, and that's it. Foggy takes the win. Oh, I thought Foggy was doomed. You know, he was 20 food behind. But he finds the base trading scenario with the sappers, bringing the sappers all the way across the map. Taking down that keep before TH could town portal back. And he wins. Just yeah, some brilliant base trading strategy from Foggy. The siege bears, the zeppelin, sappers. Such a smart play and uh, he takes the win because of it. Very well played. Well, I'll wrap on that guys. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.